drunken bear. Welcome to the drunken bear. Hello. Hello. Like I said in a previous video, we really wanted to make a video about the cost of living in Australia. So um, the cost of living is important um, because we're going around all the time buying food. So we thought this is a good way for people to see exactly um, how much things cost in regards to um, the Australian cost of living. So that way you could kind of compare it with the cost of living in your country. So let me explain it first. So we divide it by a few sections. First one is rent. That's probably everyone in the world's biggest expense. Rent. Paying rent. Ah, not yours. It's all you're lucky. You don't pay anything. You don't work. You don't do anything. But that seems too harsh. My, my ring finger is hitting his nose. No. But I must say, this video has more information of Melbourne. The cost of living can be higher in Sydney and it can be a bit lower in Brisbane. So it really depends on where you live. Rent can vary um, depending on the way that you decide to live. So obviously you can live in a couple, you can live by yourself, you can live in a share house, which is very common here in Australia. Um, so you're looking at somewhere between about 130 a week to about 250 a week. So if you want to live in like a one bedroom house somewhere kind of, um, not in the CBD, but kind of just outside the CBD. So you're looking somewhere between 1,100 to 1,400, 1,500. Um, a month. Um, in the actual city, in the CBD, you're looking at more 1600 and above. You can um, pay a, a lot for a very small little box of an apartment. It is very pricey, but having said that, you can enjoy the most benefits of living in the CBD. So uh, you'd have convenience stores just right below your apartment and you can go to any pubs and stay as long as you want. You don't need to worry about how you come back to home, something like that. The transport costs, um, it's actually quite high in Melbourne. So it's $7.80 at the moment for a Mikey full fare. By the way, Mikey is a kind of transport card in Melbourne you must have. And you can just uh, tap on some money in it and then you can use it whenever you need to. Um, the other thing is that there are options to do weekly, monthly, yearly. So obviously the more um, ahead that you buy, um, the more that you save in money yeah. and if you are a concession card holder so if you're someone from um, another city in Australia if you if you're a permanent resident and you do hold a, a healthcare card um, then there'll also be discount okay next one is food mm, which is very important it's for the us. most important when you eat out um, well you would have a lots of choices as Melbourne has so many multicultural restaurants, but um, I must say most of food is maybe above $15 in the CBD. Then, um, well, you are not so wealthy, so you want to save some money by eating in. Well, I'll say um, my personal experience, it's gonna be like $30 a week, but it's very small for any other people. Yeah. So I would say um, at least $50 a week for yourself. Yeah. But if you live with your boyfriend or a friend or something, well, you will spend $100. But you know, it all depends on what you are having. Let's talk about alcohol then. Ooh, okay. Um, so for beer, um, if you're out at a pub, you're looking at about seven, eight dollars, between seven and nine dollars around usually for a bottle beer. Um, but if you're wanting like just tap beer, um, I would say about four dollars fifty a pot, um, which is a smaller one, or more about the yeah maybe five dollars too. Uh, depends if it's craft beer or not. Um, and more in the $10 region for a pint. A bottle of beer or any drinks from the bottle shop, which has lots of um, alcohol, um, 
you know, you can get a beer maybe $3.50, something like that for a can. Yeah. Or, yeah, for wine, it can be very different. Um, okay, coffee. Um, I mean, we specifically made a video about coffee um, previously, so you can have a look if you want to know more about coffee. Well, in brief, coffee costs like $3.50 for a small one. And I think it's been a bit increasing, so you can say maybe $4 for a cup of coffee, small one, but the middle one, maybe $4 or something, or can be $4.50. Yeah. But if you are a coffee snob, look at this. Coffee snob or coffee pig? <laughs> coffee snob! Coffee snob. Then you will add your decaf, and you will add your, um, your almond milk, almond milk, caramel syrup. You wouldn't be surprised the coffee cost $10. That's true. I wonder how much you could get actually to do the most expensive coffee and just do all the adding. All the adding, 50 cents, a dollar. Yeah, we have to do that one time. That'll oh. be funny to try to do that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much coffee covered. Okay, so coffee's done. So you've got food, you've got a house. But how do you get all of this money? So this is the part that you've been looking for maybe the most. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about salary in yeah, Australia. So salary, wage, um, just how you earn your money in Australia. I mean, if you are travelers, you might probably wonder what you can do in Australia and how much you get paid. I mean, um, not all of them, but many travelers work in a cafe or in restaurant, in a pub, and you know, but they usually get paid um, more than the minimum wage, which is close to $17, or it can be way below if the place is a bit dodgy. Yeah, so even if you're on like um, $14, $15 an hour, if you do add that up, you get enough to um, get by, I think, in Melbourne. Yeah. So as a foreigner um, or as a traveler, um, don't panic. So if you um, happen to be lucky and um, you land a job that's more kind of office work, um, like um, admin kind of work, so um, entry level office work, that kind of thing, um, or even warehousing too, um, forklift jobs and stuff like that, you're more looking at the, um, starting more at $20 an hour and between $20 and even $30 an hour, that kind of bracket. Um, okay, so for everything that we've talked about, we'd like to um, give you guys some tips, I guess, on how to save as much as you can when you do come down here. Yes. And um, one way of doing that is downloading the right apps on your phone. There's a lot of free apps um, which have um, the, the happy hours, so where you can get the cheapest drinks, where you can get uh, the cheapest food. And also, um, for the transport, you might want to download PTV, which is for uh, overall um, Melbourne transport. Another app is called Tram Tracker, which can help you um, the timetable of trams. So you can check it out if the tram is coming soon or not. Uh, okay, so all these apps, um, the ones we've talked about and just other ones, we'll make sure to put in the description below. It has been the cost of living. We really wanted to talk about more details of, um, you know, some certain things. But, you know, we couldn't contain all the information um, about the cost in Australia. But feel free to comment anything specific. Um, if you'd like to ask to us, if we know it, we can give an answer for you. The information that we got for the cost of living from our own personal experiences, but also it's actually from a website. And um, we'll put that website in the description so you can know. Okay, so thank you for watching this video and comment any questions and like and subscribe. And subscribe. And also, um, make sure to follow us on um, Instagram, on Twitter. We're starting to put up um, some original content on Facebook too, which isn't um, content that you'll see on YouTube. So just more um, smaller, sillier videos um, that are just quick to edit. Actually, we forgot to introduce a very valuable animal, Princess 
Foxy. Princess Foxy in the background. Look. It's a Got fox, this. but yeah. she's a princess. Yeah. Um, so bye everyone. We'll bye see bye. you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>